Today is a beautiful day, but it looks as though we're about to get hit with a strong wind. I don't know how you do it, but you're always able to predict the weather. We need to pick everything up before it starts blowing really hard. I'm not afraid of the wind. It's on the air. What harm could it do? Oh. It's already <laughs> starting to blow hard. I think it's better if we head home now. We'd better hurry, because it's only going to get worse. I'm going inside with the others. Come on, Mumu. Don't be so stubborn. Let's go home. I'm not afraid of anything, much less the wind. Come on, little breeze. Is that the best you can do? Go on. I want more wind. More, more, more! I see you feel like blowing today, but you're not gonna beat me. I'm Moo, the super cow. I'm almost there, just a little further. This wind has no chance against me. Oh! What is this strange thing? Could they be pieces of wood? It looks like a beaver's home. No, no, it's a nest that fell from a tree and broke apart. And what might these be? They look like oval-shaped white rocks. Oval-shaped like an egg. No, no, they're not rocks, but bird eggs. Am I a bird? What am I doing here? Is this my nest? I can't believe it. My nest is all broken. This is my nest. My eggs, my family, no! Hey, guys, now listen to me carefully. The wind has done something terrible. My nest fell to the ground and it broke apart. My babies, my little birdies, have been left without a home. It's a tragedy. Please, someone help me. But, Mumu, you know that you're a cow and you don't have a nest, do you? My children, please help me. She must have hit her head a bit too hard. She is all confused. Come on, let's go see what happened. What a disaster! The nest broke apart and the eggs are all over the ground. We're lucky that none of them cracked. We need to pick them up and make a new nest for poor Mr. Bird. What do you mean, Mr. Bird? This is my nest and you need to help me. Moo, you took a blow to your head and you think you're a bird. But Moo, you're really a cow. Now we need to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird so that his eggs can hatch. Let's get to work, friends. We need to collect branches. Oh, look! What are you doing? Mumu, we're collecting branches to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird. So who's going to help me build my nest? But Mumu, you are a cow. What would you need a nest for? The wind has destroyed my nest and nobody's going to help me build it. I thought you were my friends. Mumu, the wind damaged Mr. Bird's nest, not yours. You don't have a nest. Well, since nobody's going to help me, no worries. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'm going to build the biggest and most beautiful nest that ever existed. See you later. Here's one. Look, look, yes, and another one. This one's mine. I've got a lot of them, but I need a few more. No, not a few more, I need a lot more. Now I think we have enough to make a nest. Put a branch right here. Yes, yes, that's good. Ah, uh, I hope this is the way it goes. It turned out to be a masterpiece. Mr. Bird will be very proud of his new nest. Now, we've got to put it where it belongs. Talalo, can you go put it up in the tree? Now I've got a beautiful nest, but... It's missing something here. 
For a nest to be a nest, it needs eggs. I'm going to try to lay an egg. Mm, this is really difficult, but I need to find some eggs. Look, right there on the ground, I see two giant white rocks. Where could Moomoo be? Well, I don't see her anywhere. Chirp, huh? chirp. Oh. Chirp. <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Hey, Moomoo, what are you doing way up there? Come down from there right now. When the wind starts blowing again, you'll be sent flying. Chirp, chirp, moo. Chirp, chirp, moo. The wind is starting up again. Come down from there, Moomoo. You're going to get blown away. Chirp, chirp. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Hang on tight, Moo Moo. Oh. Oh. I don't understand what's taking them so long to get here. It had to be on the day I prepared a surprise, and now nobody shows up. Hmm. They'll be here soon. Talolo! I'm so glad to see you. How you doing? I see. So, is everything fine? It's been a long time since we talked about what good friends we are and all. I think that you are one of my best friends. I'm so glad to see you. By the way, where is everybody else? I've got something to celebrate and want everybody else to be here with me. Hello, Olga. Where are you going in such a rush? Tell everyone to come quick. I've got something important to tell you all. Olga, please don't go. What's up with Olga? She always stops to talk to me, and today it's as if she didn't even see me. Hi, Mumu. I'm so glad to see you. Can you stop for a minute? I've got something really important to tell you. I'm in a big hurry. I can't stop and talk right now. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Mumu, listen to me. I've got something to... I don't know what's going on, but I don't like this one bit. Hey, here comes Alfred. I'll ask him. Hi, Alfred. Alfred? Alfred? Alfred! Don't you run off too. Talalo. Today's a very special day for me, and nobody wants to be here with me. I am so tired. Hi, Rita. I'm so glad to see you. How you doing? Didn't you just hear me? I'm very tired. All day running from here to there, without breathing, without stopping. That's great, Rita. I'm so happy that you're here next to me. I've tried talking with everybody, and they're acting crazy going all over the place and ignoring what? me. What? Uh, how? Uh, where? Uh, I forgot something. Uh, where'd everyone go? Well, Mumu over there, Olga over there. I don't know. Everybody went somewhere different. Oh, well, I'm going to go this way. See you. Now I really don't get it. Today is my birthday, and I wanted to celebrate it with all my friends, but they're all too busy doing their own things. Look what I've prepared. A big old snack with all kinds of candies. Now I'll have to eat it all alone. Hi, Talalo. How's Milo? Does he have any idea that we're throwing him a party? Poor Milo. He thinks that we've forgotten about his birthday. But when he sees the cake we made for him and all the nice presents we've made for him, he's going to be speechless. The cake is ready, and it turned out perfect. And I made him a bag where he can keep all his things. I made him a really nice wooden flute, which I've been working on for two months. I know he's really going to like well, it. Well, I... Well, I... Well, I actually forgot about my present. I had so many things in my head that I didn't remember. We can't let that happen. We need to make him something in less than two minutes. Something clever and that he'd like a lot. I feel terrible for not having remembered. What a bad friend I am. 
Don't you worry, Alfred. You'll see that we'll come up with something quick. I've got it! Why don't we give him a drum? And how do we make a drum in two minutes? Leave it to me. I'll be right back. I just need... Uh -huh. Two wooden sticks, an empty tin, rubber balls, and two balloons. I put the balls on the ends of the uh -huh. sticks like this, and I've got the oh. drum sticks. Uh -huh. ah. Now I stretch a balloon on one end of the tin and the other on the oh. other end. And now it's ready. Oh. I'm so clever. Now I just need to hear how it sounds. The drum is ready. Now we just have to put it in a box and we've got a present. Rita, you're the best. You've saved me from looking like a bad friend. Yay! Well, since nobody's coming, I'll have to eat the snack by myself. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Milo. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yay! <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> I thought that you all had forgotten about my birthday. <laughs> I'm so happy that I almost feel like crying. Happy birthday, Milo. Here is my present. And this one is mine, a cake for everybody. And this is my gift. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, Milo. Thank you all for making this the best birthday of my life. Now everyone, time Yay! to celebrate. Yay! 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 <laughs> Do you have any idea what Mumu's doing? I have no idea, but she looks pretty confident, so she must know what she's doing. I think she wants us to play in the garden today. You know that Mumu always has some very strange ideas. Could be that she's painting the classroom a new color and took out all the chairs so that they wouldn't get stained. I don't think Mumu is planning on painting anything. You know how much she likes to play, <laughs> so I think she wants us to play something. But I don't know of any game that's played with chairs. I know how to play one that's really fun. You put a bunch of chairs in a circle, and everyone keeps going around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone sits down, and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair, and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. Wow, that sounds like fun. We can play the chair game today. Let's go talk to Mumu to see if she lets us play with her. Hi, Mumu. Why have you brought out all these chairs? Mm, I just felt like sitting in the garden. Is that it? You didn't bring them out to play with? Milo, chairs are only used for sitting down. You can't play with them. Unless you imagine that they're a car, or, or a plane, or... Well, we know of a really fun game to play with chairs. That's nice. So why are you telling me? Mumu, you've got five chairs in the garden, and we want to play the chair game with them. But I don't want to play anything. I just want to sit and enjoy the scenery. Whatever you like. You could at least let us sit here with you. All right, then. I wonder what Mumu is doing with so many chairs next to each other. I'm sure she wants to play something. Well, I want to play with them, too. We can bring our own chairs to play with. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, I don't know where the other chairs are. I think Mumu must have taken them all. I saw one just underneath the slide. Well, let's get it and go with them. Hello, friends. What are you playing? We're not playing anything. We're just sitting here catching a bit of sun. Well, how boring. I thought you'd be playing some game with the chairs. Rita! You cannot play with chairs. They're only used for sitting. 
You can't play with them. That's not exactly true, Moo Moo. I know a very fun game that you can play using chairs. Please teach us how the game is played. There are six of us, right? Well, you put five chairs in a circle and everyone goes around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone has to sit down and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. That sounds like fun. Why don't we play that game? All right then, but it seems like a silly game and very boring. You'll see, Moo Moo. Once you start playing, you'll want to play again. Are we all in position? All right. Now remember, when the music plays, we all go round and round. But when it stops, we all have to sit down. The one who's left out will get eliminated. Okay, start the music. <laughs> Oh, what bad luck. I was left without a chair. I'm so slow. I kept on dancing with no music. Can we play it again? <laughs> <laughs>